Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is lesson 25, finding solutions to make equations true. So the first thing we start out with our classwork exercises. Identify a value for the given variable that would make each equation or inequality into a true number sentence. Is this the only possible answer? State when the equation or inequality is true using equality and inequality symbols. Okay, so I'm going to work this algebraically using a keyword in this whole thing, and the keyword is inverses. We are using inverses. The inverse of addition is subtraction. The inverse of multiplication is division. Okay, so obviously the inverse of subtraction is addition. The inverse of division is multiplication. So when I look at an equation, I have 3 plus g equals 15, and I want to know what g has to equal to make this true. Okay, so what I'm going to do is the inverse operation to get g by itself. So I'm adding 3 to g. So the inverse of addition is subtraction. So to get rid of that 3, I have to subtract it. And to make keep an equ equation true, we have to um, we have to use the same operation on both sides. What you do to one side, I do to the other. So 3 minus 3 is 0. And 0 plus g is simply g. And 15 minus 3 is 12. So this statement is only true when g equals 12. That is the only solution. No other number will work. So whenever there's an equal sign with a variable, there's only going to be one solution. We're just dealing with addition, subtraction, multiplication. Okay, b. 30 is greater than 2d. 2d means 2 times d. The inverse of multiplication is division. So to get d by itself, I need to divide 2d by 2. What I do to one side, I do to the other. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times d is simply d. And then I get 30 divided by 2, and that is 15. And I like to have my variable on the left, so I'm going to switch this around and put d over where 15 is and put 15 over where d is. But when I do that, the inequality still has some hope before it's 15. So this is only true when D is less than 15. It is false when D is greater than 15. Okay. C. 15 divided by F is less than 5. There is a shortcut involved in this where we can just move the numerator over to the other side, but I'm just going to do the inverse operations that I explained up here. I should probably make that visible. And we have 15 divided by F, and divisions inverse is multiplication. So I'm going to multiply both sides by F, and the Fs will cancel here, and I get 15 is less than 5F. Now I want F by itself, and I have 5 times F, so I'm going to divide because the Inverse of multiplication is division. So I divide by 5, divide by 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3, less than. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 1f one is simply f. I like my variable first, so I flip the equation around, including the inequality. And this is true when f is greater than three. d. 42 is less than or equal to 50 minus m. Okay, 50 is positive. Think of this as plus 50. To get rid of a positive, the inverse is subtraction. So I'm going to subtract 50 from both sides. 50 minus 50 is 0. 42 minus 50 is negative 8. Is less than or equal to negative m. Do not forget to bring that negative sign down. It's still a negative m. Now, I don't want a negative variable, so I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1. A negative times a negative is positive. 1 times 8 is 8. A negative times a negative is positive. 1 times m 
is m. But whenever we multiply by a negative, the inequality reverses. So less than or equal to will become greater than or equal to. So 8 is greater than or equal to m. I want my variable first now. So one last step. I'm going to move the m where the 8 is, move the 8 to where the m is, and then the sign gets flipped again so it's still facing the right way. So my answer is, this is only true when m is less than or equal to 8. If it's greater than 8, it will be false. Okay. Example. Each of the following numbers is substituted for the value of the variable. Make one of the equations below into a true number sentence. Match the number to that equation. Okay, so they're giving us five values that go somewhere in these. I make one of these true. Rather than just trying each one trial and error, I want you to get into the habit of learning how to solve an equation for a variable. So n plus 26 equals 32. I want to get that 26 over to the other side by subtracting on both sides. 26 minus 26 is 0. n plus 0 is n. 32 minus 26 is 6. So my answer to a is 6. n minus 12 equals 32. Opposite of minus is plus, so I will add 12 to both sides. Negative 12 plus 12 is 0. n plus 0 is n. 32 plus 12 is 44. And there's 44. The only reason, thing I would use this for is to check my solutions. I would not plug these in and check. Number or, or part C, 17n equals 51. This is multiplication. The inverse of multiplication is division. 17 divided by 17 is 1. 1n is simply n. 51 divided by 17 is 3. And that is in my set. 4 squared equals n. Okay. n is already by itself here, so we just need to simplify this side. n, our 4 squared, means 4 times 4, which is 16. And that's all we had to do to the answer is 16. And finally, the last one, we have n divided by 3 equals 5. The inverse of division is multiplication. So if I'm dividing n by 3, and then I multiply it by 3, I get n by itself. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. Think of 3 as 3 over 1. 3n divided by 3 is simply 3n. So the 3s cancel. And 5 times 3 is 15. And sure enough, there's my 15. So I found a home for all of my answers that they can do. Okay, that's the end of lesson 25. Your problem solved.